see in the top left, I have 7 ping, 23 ping still. Like, I, I get less than 30 ping in Minecraft, like, easily. 0% pack loss, it's insane. 50 right now, it's not even close, twice as less. Do you suffer from high ping, pack and loss, and high input lacing while playing Minecraft? If so, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve sub 40 ping in not just Minecraft, but in every game I play. As a competitive gamer, I understand how important it is to have the lowest amount of ping possible, which is why in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve the lowest amount of ping that I can possibly get and how I can help you guys get the lowest amount of ping you can get. If anything mentioned in the video helped you guys out, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below which step helped you guys i'm curious to find out so yeah with all that being said i guess let's just get right into the video if there are some of you that want to see your latency from like before or after or like just want to compare it i recommend this app it's called latency mod and i'll leave a link to the description all right you might be confused because it's all blank right now but all you want to do is just press this green arrow and it's gonna run a test for around like 20 seconds and it's gonna show you your latency so this is kind of like the average and this is kind of like the highest all right guys so you can see i've just been running it for like around two minutes now and yeah that's basically it i have 50 like normal latency it's just really good and i'll show you guys right now some tests from other people if i show you guys this look at this this is crazy bad like uh, that's like 13,000. that's terrible and there's other Others that are also good but they're not as good as mine because I got these settings these custom settings from Hone and all these other settings I researched for a long time and I'll tell you right here your system appears to be suitable for handling real-time audio and other tasks without dropout you know it won't say the same here I'm not gonna read all that oh my god but yeah it's basically red which is bad even this is saying it's good and it's like nowhere near as good as mine so you guys can trust that the settings i have are really good like i've been researching the hell of this for like years now so yeah this is proof that i get the highest ping possible highest latency because like it's just one bar it's super good it's gonna be helpful for you guys i hope it's helpful for you guys like it's helpful for me all right guys so the first step you guys want to do is download lunar client if you don't already have it it's for minecraft it's a minecraft launcher that has all the mods you can ever need and it's fps boost is insane like honestly i get like four times the fps i would get if i was to use a normal minecraft launcher so by using this you'll get the lowest amount of input latency because if you guys didn't know input latency is varied by how much fps you get so if you also get high fps your input latency will also degrade which means it'll be better a better gaming experience is a better gamer so yeah once you got that downloaded you should be good to go all right next thing you guys want to do is get hone which is a pc optimization app i'll leave a link in the description leading to this website but basically if you guys know what who control is basically control discord those are the guys that made all those like high smooth renders and all those obs settings sony vegas settings basically all the things that people use today those are the guys that originally made it and they basically got together and made hone and hone has been through a lot over the past few years i've been using them for years now but they recently came out with an app and it looks very nice and it's a lot better. Um, you guys can check out the website and like learn more about it. But basically the gist is that you'll get higher FPS, lower input latency and better internet. So yeah, what you want to do is just download. It's a quick download. You just press download now. So here it is. I opened up Hone just now and this is what it looks like. You can see all the tweaks on the left side. Um, there's a lot of tweaks here, but I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through the ones that helped your network latency. If you guys want to see me go through all these tweaks and show you guys how I get amazing performance on my PC, I could do that in another video. But for now, we're going to go over the internet part. I'm going to speed run this. So make sure to pause because I'm going to blitz past all this. So, so the tweaks that you want to have optimized are optimized Windows device affinities, optimized Windows audio latency, optimized BCD edit boot config, optimized mouse priority, disable network auto tuning, optimized network priority, general optimizations, optimized internet, optimized device MSI priority, optimized network card, optimized power plan, and optimized timer resolution. When you have all those tweaks applied, you can go over to the game section and look for minecraft and you can apply this tweak which basically enables a lot of uh, settings for minecraft uh specifically for lunar client you'll get this profile that's super smooth and makes everything nice so you can apply it i already have applied so i'm not gonna apply it again all right yeah basically you're good to go you don't have to open up home every time it's just one time and you're good to go forever another thing you can do is go to your task manager by going to your taskbar and right clicking once you open up task manager you can go to startup apps and here you can enable status and put everything that's enabled first so basically these are the apps that start with your pc and they can make your pc a lot slower not just for the startup but once they run in the background it'll make everything slower and a lot of these apps you can't even see what they're doing in the background so it's just like useless to have so what you want to do is just look through all these apps that are enabled and make sure you disable all those that you don't need i literally only have like five apps in this list and i don't need anything here all right next up guys we're gonna go to settings and it's gonna look different if you have windows 10 because i have windows 11 but you just want to switch up xbox game bar it's the same thing for windows 10 as well switch up game bar and you 
you want to turn this off and the reason is because xbox game bar is like really bad for your pc it just says no one uses it you just want to turn this shit off all right it doesn't do any good but i'll lock in 1k if you guys can find me one person that uses xbox game bar the next thing you want to do is just enable game mode game mode is very nice for windows it's actually like surprisingly like useful um yeah you just want to turn it on if it's bugging out press off and on again and it should reset it another thing you should do is go to display advanced display and make sure your refresh rate is all the way to the highest and from there you also want to make sure you go to graphics from display and then go to change default graphics settings so this is where it gets tricky this is called hardware accelerated gpu scheduling i have enabled but people do say sometimes it bugs do it like obs and some games personally i haven't seen any of those kind of like performance issues so i would just test it out and make sure if it's good or not for you it's, it could be different for different pcs i mean if it isn't you could just always turn it off and for optimizations for windowed games i think you should always have this on it should be good for everyone i forgot to say but you should go to graphics again and then go to this list i forgot to mention it you basically want to search up lunar client and you should see lunaclient.exe and you should make sure you have it on high performance all right with that being done you can exit out windows settings because we're good to go for that all right the next step you guys want to do is go to your desktop and right click and go to nvidia control panel if you guys don't have a nvidia graphics cards or have like an amd one um i can't help you with that but you can search up on youtube like the best control panel settings for amd and all that I have a video card so I can show you guys what settings I have for it. Um, you guys should pause the video like I did for the tweaks. But basically I have everything on off. You can see here it's all off basically. On allow high performance on. That's pretty important. Make sure you have that as well. And basically everything is just pretty like default, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these things are already default, but make sure you copy everything as much as you can. One thing though is make sure you have vertical sync off because that will hurt your input latency like, really bad. So you want to have that off. All right, one last thing though I have to mention is low latency mode. Um, just like hags, you gotta check this out and make sure like see what's good for your PC, if it's better off, on or ultra. Low latency mode can also be beneficial for some people and not beneficial for some others. I honestly just keep it off if you're not sure about it. I just have it on just in case if there is a performance. Uh, difference but i'm just letting you guys know all right one last thing is go to adjust image settings with preview and go to use the advanced 3d image settings basically that makes you use the settings that you just put on because you don't want to put those settings on and be using whatever the video says so make sure you have this enabled uh, i just open up lunar client and if i go to multiplayer and go to high pixel if i chill out for a while oh it's already there you can see it 23 ping it's super high and if i go into a game right now it should say the same thing 23 ping still like i i get less than 30 ping on minecraft like easily but yeah this is how you get high ping this is proof um i can go into another game to show you guys i can i can go to another server too yeah you guys can see on mine man i get 28 ping on pvp land i get 28 um if i go into fortnite you guys can also see that i have low ping because you know we love fortnite hey who likes fortnite <laughs> All right, we just got into a lobby, and as you can see in the top left, I have seven ping. Yeah, do I run up a game, guys? Do I run up a game? I, I run up a game for you guys. I'll try getting a dub. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. But, like, this is crazy, guys. I have nine ping right now. It's nuts. And you can see also, like, the pack of loss. It says 0% pack of loss. It's insane. All right, I'm, I'm going to kill this guy. Hold on. Watch, watch, watch. All right, bro. I'm not playing this game, bro. All right, the last game I want to show you guys is Overwatch. This is like one of my favorite games ever. I'm kind of like a professional player in this. I'm like top 500, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. But anyways, you can see on the top left, it says 39 ping. All right, guys, this is Future Keon here. And there are some things I did forget to mention before I finish this video up. One thing is make sure you have an Ethernet cable. It is very important that you're using Ethernet and not Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is just too unreliable and honestly, it could be the reason why you're having problems with your internet. When I had my laptop back in the day, I used Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet because, you know, it was a laptop. I didn't think I had to use Ethernet and it was the reason why I was getting very high ping. So once I swapped over to Ethernet, my ping started to get more stabilized. It's not just a magic solution, but it makes everything a lot more nicer and more consistent. So I know that a common problem people face with Ethernet cables is how they're going to get it all the way from the router to the PC. And I faced this problem too. And what I did was I basically got my Ethernet cable from another room into this room. And it comes out through that area right there. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. But basically what you can do is just run the Ethernet cable across the wall of yours and put like on the roof and stuff. This is what my friend did when he got his new PC and realized that his Ethernet cable couldn't reach from the living room to his bedroom. What he did was he got the Ethernet cable, ran it across the wall into his room. And it's super neat and everything. It's very cost friendly. So that's one way to do it. Another way you can do it is by getting a power drill. And I know that sounds scary, especially if you don't know how to use one. If you know how to use one, you can easily drill a hole in the wall and run the Ethernet cable through there. Sometimes it might be easier just to get the Ethernet cable across the wall. Sometimes it might be easier just to drill it. It all depends on your home setup. But ultimately, getting an Ethernet cable will help your ping tremendously 
all right guys so that's gonna be about the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new yeah leave a comment down below i want to know which step helped you guys the most i hope one of these steps at least help you guys your boy's back i'm grinding out these videos like it's nothing and yeah i'm gonna see you guys on the next one all right peace out